Hey, what's up, boxing f Ooh, boxing fans? This is the Rope of Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. I'm doing the 118 Showtime Tournament. Um, love this match, uh, these matchups just in general. Last one did the Mares and Darcini, and this one, uh, Yanni Perez and Joseph Egbeko. Now, this is a rematch from last Halloween. I believe it was Halloween. Yeah, it's a good fight, back and forth, back and forth. I gotta be honest with you, I thought Egbeko would fight a little smarter. Much like he did against Victor Arcini, although those are two different um, opponents, kind of. Um, because I think that Perez is a little tighter with his punches, although he gets plenty loose. But, you know, he, he just keeps coming. He goes to the body. He's a good fighter. He can cut off the ring. He's a good, good come-forward fighter. And he can counter, too. Like, you can get shots off on him, but he just keeps coming back. So it was a real back-and-forth match. It warranted, in my opinion, a rematch. I thought it Beko. I thought Perez fought pretty much as as best as he can fight. He he may be able to make some improvements in there, which I believe he can a little bit. But that was a damn good fight for him. Whereas like Beko, I thought that although he came to fight and and you know he, he was going a little too loose. I think that he had won the titles and he kind of underestimated him, or the style just didn't match up well, well for him, or whatever the case may be. I thought that Beko kind of got away from a game plan of jabbing and setting punches up like he did against Darcini. And I'm not trying to say that he can do the same thing against Perez, because, like I said, I think Perez is even better at coming forward and still landing shots and putting that pressure on and pressure on and pressure on. And he's not as loose and crazy and wild as a Darchinian. He gets times where he gets loose in there, but, you know, even a great guy, a uh, great fighter that could fight on the move and has really good hand speed like, uh, you know, Mahrez, he still was able to land punches and make Mahrez work for every round. So I think Yanni Perez will come through to this. I don't see a KO. I see a hell of a fight again. I see, you know, because I think Ibeko will make adjustments. I think he'll throw the jab more. You know, I think he can definitely fight better than, excuse me, than he did. But... I still see Yanni Perez gaining experience, um, you know, almost beating, winning good five rounds, I believe, um, at least four rounds, if not five, um, against Mahrez, who's, a, I, be, I believe, an overall fighter than a Be better fighter than Beko. So I think Yanni Perez will come through to this, uh, this fight, and I think it'll be, uh, you know, Mahrez and uh, Perez rematch in the final next year. So I'm going to go with Perez, but I'm going to go with the decision in a fun action type fight. But I think Perez will just be too much for him, whether it be countering what Ed Beko just did um, or just, you know, overall f flurries in, in output. The guy is very aggressive. So I'm going with Yanni Perez on this one by decision. Make sure you check out the Rope Dope Report. Make sure you check out ropeadoperadio.com. Um, and yeah, guys, peace.